I don't wanna go over why you should be using a password manager. If you clicked on this video, it's most likely you already know about the importance of having one. But in this video, I want to shed light on what I think is the best option. Well, I'm talking about the oldest project and the most reliable of all, KeyPass. KeyPass probably doesn't stand out very nicely when it comes to its user interface and browser support, but KeyPass is built with the philosophy of do one thing and do it right. And in my opinion, it succeeded, uh, it succeeded very well in that uh, regard. In case you are kind of unfamiliar with how it works, let me explain briefly. Your passwords are saved in an encrypted database. Think of it like a very sophisticated Excel datasheet. In other passwords manager terminology, it can be called a vault. But whatever the name is, it's eventually just a file, a single file with a unique file extension. And to read what's inside that file, i.e. your passwords and login entries, you need to use the, the KeyPass client, which will prompt you to enter your master password to open up that file. But where did that file come from? You might be asking. Well, you are the one who created using KeyPass itself. Let me show you a demo real quick. If you haven't already, you can grab the KeyPass from keypass.info, then head to the download page and pick up the latest version. You can choose between a portable version or a executable setup. I usually go for the installable one for better stability. Here's the KeyPass Installer, just what you do expect, nothing difficult or new in here. I have installed it now and I'm going to open it up for the first time on this machine. And we are welcomed with this mostly blank window. First, we will create a new database. On the top right, we have the toolbar menu, and under files, we can see a new option which actually does the exact same thing as the white icon underneath. And once you click on that icon or that option, a new dialog pops up prompting you to create a new database. Click OK and choose the directory where you want to save your data file. I am going to put it on the desktop and give it a name of example database. Now you have to set up your master password, which will be the only one the only password you will ever need. So make sure it's robust and hard to guess. And see how KeyPass is evaluating your password strength. So try your best to score over 90. But since it's just for demonstration purposes, I will set it to something quick to type in. And click OK. Here you're going to give your database a name. And if you wish, you can enter a description. And you are set to go. Of course, you can have control over the other settings like encryption algorithm and compression and other advanced options. But you don't really have to worry about them that much and leave everything as is. The default options are just great for most people anyway. Once you hit OK, KeyBass will suggest you print a PDF file called Emergency Sheet where you can type in your own database information and keep it safe in, f in a physical place as a precautionary procedure just in case your memory fails you so you have something physical you can turn to. Now we are pretty much done with the database. All we have to worry about now is its content. You can already see that KeyBass created a few folders for us to organize our data. You can delete them if you wish or create even more folders. Here it has two sample data entries stored in the root of the database. I am going to create a new folder by right clicking the root and hit add group. For example, I'm going to name this folder video sites and create a new login information in there. Make sure the desired folder is highlighted, right click on the right panel and choose add entry. The next dialog will walk you through the information needed for your login. First, you can give it a title, enter the username you are going to use for this login. And here is the most important field, which is the password created for you. You can click on show and copy and paste it. Here you can generate a new one. While it's already quite strong password, you have the option to go, to go even fancier with it. 
like uh, I personally like to include underscores and special symbols and save it as a new preset for later use. Now you have completed the process of creating new login information or simply or simply as called uh, here a data entry. Okay, now for these changes to take effect, you have to save the changes by uh, clicking the save icon or under file the save option or simply by pressing Ctrl S. And notice that when you try to exit without saving, Keybass will remind you. So here we have our newly created database. We can open it up by directly double clicking, clicking on it. Or even if we choose the run the app itself, the app will remember the latest open database and immediately prompts you to enter the master password to unlock the file or basically the database. Now imagine if we have lots of logins, we need to quickly find a specific entry. Well, luckily you can just press uh, Ctrl F or navigate to the search bar and type any part of the entry you want to access like the title or the URL will do just fine and you will have it right away at your disposal and that's all about it guys I mean Kivas is not really that complicated yes it may seem that it's like lacking a lot of features but uh, to me less is more uh, you have complete uh, control over your data uh, you are the one responsible of backing it up and uh, and just much better than having it uh, having dependency on uh, the internet because uh, personally I had a problem with the uh, like Bitwarden Bitwarden is one of the big names uh, in password managers yet uh, I had a very unpleasant experience with it uh, when I changed my router settings, it just uh, went nuts, and I didn't I didn't know how to fix it. I tried a lot. I contacted support, and it just didn't work. I couldn't access my vault, and my data all gone. So I just prefer now going offline, uh, having zero dependency on the internet. And that's all from me, guys. Thank you for watching.